Welcome back, YouTube fam, to another episode of D-Pads Daily. Today is going to be a special one. Uh, it's the first time I'm meeting somebody specially to record a YouTube video with. We're meeting Sandeep from Perfect Home Inspections, who you'll meet in just a minute. Um, he reached out to me. I've never worked with him before, but he reached out to me through social media and showed interest. You know, he saw our YouTube channel and saw the community we've built and really wanted to share educational information with all of us so it can bring value to you guys. And so I'm super excited to see uh, what he teaches us. I'm going to ask him questions that you guys suggested uh, in my previous post um, regarding what kind of licensing procedures they have to go through, how much training they get, what are the most important areas that they look at, what are some of the common deficiencies, and also... Uh, what kind of cool gadgets they use. I know they have a thermal sensor for the for checking heat loss in the house. Uh, he's going to be bringing a drone. I'm assuming that's to check the roof. Um, it is a nice uh, uh, cold minus 20 degree temperature today. And we have snow all around. So I'm not sure how much uh, we'll get to go around and record outside. But hey, I'm going to let him lead. Uh, ask him some questions that we can all learn from. But you guys know the drill. If you enjoy this content, you know, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share in the comments and what you want to see in upcoming videos, as that always guides me in getting the most valuable content for you guys. So here we are. It's already sold. So here we have him, Sandy from Perfect Home Inspection Sale. So thanks so much for doing this video. Actually, it was all his idea to do this video. Uh, he reached out and said, you know, let's uh, do an educational video. I'll go over how I inspect uh, new homes uh, and take you through all my gadgets. Yeah, so thanks definitely. so much for doing it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, no no worries. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm here to answer any questions you guys got. So and they, yeah. they, they asked a bunch of them. I, I did like a little poll. Oh, okay, so they had a few questions for sure. Good. That's good. Uh, just to kind of give you some in, some info on you, like yeah. how long have you been a uh, home inspector? For? Uh, me, it's been my. I have my own company. I've been with my own company about three years now. Okay. I was working for other companies before that, but on my own for three years here in Alberta. So, um, yeah, it's been great uh, meeting new people, helping people every day. That's yeah. that's what it's about, right? Oh, it definitely. That's, service. You know, one of the biggest questions I think our community had. Uh, they were unsure of what kind of training you go through, what kind of licensing that a third party home inspector requires. Mm -hmm. Are you able to shed some light on that? Yes, definitely. So there's an educational component. So you have to have some schooling. So you have to know about uh, construction practices. You got to know about uh, uh, how structures are built and how they're put together uh, and all the features in them like uh, the electrical, the plumbing, uh, all so forth. So it's pretty comprehensive. Uh, you have to have a base knowledge. So, and then you have to have uh, training as well. So you have to go with people who actually do inspections and you have to learn from them, just right. like mentorship. Uh, you have to do that. And then, then there's testing. Then you have to go through, uh, it's like the written portion. So you know that the, the government checks that you know these things and also there's practical so you have to actually do inspections in front of people uh, who who are like done thousands and thousands right. of inspections who have much experience and they can evaluate you if you are right. good at doing inspections or not and if you, they deem you qualified then they qualify you okay yeah. so then they give you like some sort of like a certificate or like a license yes yes like you then you then you uh, they give you like a, a passing mark or okay. they give you some sort of paperwork saying that you are qualified and then you take that to uh, the government and the government uh, approves you being that. Yeah. And you know, I know that the city code uh, for constructions, you know, always change. I yes. think they come with something new every six months or so. Yes, yes. It feels like. So do you have to do continuing education in, yes. as a license? Yes, you do have well? to do continuing education. We're part of the uh, internet so that's the biggest uh, home inspection uh, company okay. that is around in the world, actually. Okay. So they require you to be doing courses on a continuous basis to be uh, internet certified inspector. So uh, I'm part of that uh, uh, community, or you could say association. 
I pay into that and then I am doing these courses as as needed. So yes, even even if it wasn't, you have to keep up, right? Oh, that's that's awesome. Yes. I think that was probably one of the biggest questions yes. I think we all had. Yes. You know, why why is it uh, important? Because I, you know, all these homes that have been built, whether it's new or old, they were inspected by the city and they were given the green sticker yes. at, you know, several stages during construction. Yes. Why is it important to hire a, an inspector like yourself okay. to do these uh, inspections? Well, when the, when the city inspector come in, they're not doing a thorough inspection. They're just, they're just going in, they're looking at maybe one or two things. Uh, could be electrical, just, or, or HVAC or whatever, what have you. And they're looking at one or two things and they might point out a few things and then they're on their way. The, the, they're, they, they cannot inspect every thing in the home. It's not their job. Their job is, is it to their minimum standard. Right. There's a minimum standard that has to be done to in terms of construction codes and that's all they're concerned about. When you hire an independent third-party home inspector, we're looking at a more thorough, more detailed inspection. We're going in, we're checking things. Uh, that's why we have these tools, right, mm -hmm. that I'm gonna show you uh, to, so we can see things better, and then we can give you more knowledge on those things, right? And then we can break down what's going on in your home, actually. You know, the city inspectors, we could, I, I build new homes, yes. so I'm more familiar with that side. Yes. The city inspectors, they come every stage, for yes. example, after my framing is mm -hmm. done, they come after my heating is done. Yes. But when normally you come, it's yes. right before homeowners taking possession. Yes. So yes. everything's sealed up yes. pretty yes. well. Yes. Um, does that restrict you in any way in looking at certain uh, portions, certain equipment, or can you still with your equipment see everything? Oh, yes. There is going to be restrictions on stuff is sealed up, but then we do have uh, tools such as uh, infrared camera, which can help like you can see the framing with the infrared camera. I'll show you that uh, you can see the moisture with the infrared camera, right? So you can see a lot of uh, heat loss and stuff like that. So that's a great tool that we have. There's other tools too that help us see things where you can't see. So uh, we have all those tools in place that really help us in those areas. Yeah. I see some cool uh, gadgets in front of me here, <laughs> which we'll be showing you in just a couple minutes here. But I, you can maybe you know demonstrate while we're you know, walking through the yeah, house yeah, for how sure. we use these. That's yeah, really cool. Sure. Now you know obviously for a new homeowner, um, they're excited. They bought the brand new yes. home. Also, they've taken on a big liability in yes. a way. Yes. So at that time, you know, the cost is very important yes. Right, yes. to yes. consider. So for in for a homeowner or a home buyer yeah. looking to get this inspection done, mm -hmm. what are they looking at in terms of cost wise? Is it pretty standard throughout the industry or is it very... Well, the costs will vary okay. uh, industry wide. Not all companies are going to give you drones, they're going to give you thermal imaging. They're not going to give you, like I even do water testing, okay? They, they're not going to do that. Uh, I look into the pipes with the boroscope. Not all companies are going to do that. So those guys will charge you less because they're going to do less. If you want more services, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. If you're spending four or five hundred thousand dollars, you would want to know about all things. But as a as a homeowner, um, yeah. as a person buying a new home, a lot of times homeowners aren't too familiar with uh, these inspections or construction in general. Yes. Even we experience that when we have a new home buyer that they're not too familiar with the yes. whole housing industry. Yes. So what kind of questions uh, or what kind of information should they be asking their potential home inspector that, that they're looking to hire so they can identify which one to go with? Okay. Because I don't know how many of them know about all these gadgets. Yes, yes. So you should be asking what kind of services are you going to be giving me? Okay. Uh, what are you going to inspect? Uh, how do you inspect it? Um, how long do you think it would take? Some mm -hmm. guy's going to tell you he's going to do it in an hour. I mean, I would be questioning that like how are you gonna check everything? how long does it normally take I mean it depends on the home right so it could take uh, anywhere from two and a half hours to four hours wow. four four and a half hours sometimes because we're going in there and we're checking every every little detail what is a ballpark number that somebody's looking at I mean cost? I mean like condos we we start at uh, around 250 right and then it just depends on the type of home that you want. So we build a lot of duplexes, yes. uh, which are about 16, 1700 square feet. Yeah. So How much would that cost? Uh, duplex uh, add a hundred dollar onto that. So about right. $350? Three, three, 375. Okay. Right. 
Well, wasn't that useful information? You know, thanks so much for answering all of those questions. No problem. Now we're going to jump into the exciting part, aren't we? You're going to show us up all these cool gadgets that you have. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. Uh, so um, we'll go through that with you, and we'll, we'll walk around the home, and we'll show you how each of those uh, tools work, and how it can be a benefit to you, and how it can add value into any inspection that you do get. And you should be asking your home inspector about these things. You know, do, do you have do you have these tools? Right. Do you have a boroscope? Do you have you know moisture meters? Do you have uh, thermal cameras? Do you yeah. have drones, stuff like that? Because I don't know if many do. To I, be honest, I, I don't think so because yeah. I, I, I go, I try to stay on top of the trends and be on the cutting edge and if I see something new I try to grab it right away so I'm the first one and that's awesome are, and people are copying <laughs> me which is fine you know you copy go ahead yeah there's but, lots of opportunity right, there right it's fine I, I can't do every inspection in the world right right so but if if I can get even the industry to do a better inspection I think it's a win for us absolutely you know right. let's uh let's not waste any more time let's dive right into it okay so sandeep here has something called a boroscope so can you take us through what this does yeah so basically this is like a tool that's it's almost 10 feet long you can uh put it into any drain here and it, you can check your drain if it's got any clogs or it's got any problems in there so we use this it, there's an app in our phone that it's allows, like a camera basically yeah basically it's a camera so you can okay, see it okay so right? let's see it yeah yeah you you, you you bet so get into this one let's use the bathroom one this one sure i can just sneak it into there and then you can see if you have a problem with this drain you can go to the other side yeah Show the camera. Yeah. So you can see into here. See that? You can see right into the right. Drain, right. You can see if it's some if it's like if you have a metal pipe or something, you can see if it's rusted or if there's anything stuck in there. And then you just gotta this one looks pretty clear. Yeah, this one looks pretty clear. We're not not expecting any problem with this one, right? But look you can see all the way down to there. Right. Right? And then you can see that's where the U yeah. is, right? The, yeah, the yeah, exactly. And then go right up into there and you keep on going. And you can, if you have a, if you have, if you have a problem, you can keep going and yeah. check even more. Right? So basically, if there's anything blocking the pipes, exactly. um, this thing detects it. Yeah, this thing uh, helps you check that out, right? It's called a boroscope, right? Boroscope. Boroscope. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. So we got that, and then uh, some testers that we got. Like, uh, Look at all this yeah. fancy stuff he has in his this, arsenal. This is a moisture meter, okay? So basically this one here, um, if you find something that's wet, let's say uh, this wall was wet, you okay. just put it over here. And it would tell you how much moisture there was in there. So right now there's zero Zero percent. Right? There's nothing there. But if it was wet, it would it would tell you it would dry to wet and it would have a meter. Are we able to put some maybe on the counter and see if that, uh, does that work? Let's see. If that yeah. Works. Oh, yeah. See that? Look at that. Yeah. So it picks it up. Right. Okay. So anything that's over like uh, uh, ten percent. Uh, you would want to uh, investigate that. Investigate further. Yeah. Exactly. So. Um, cool. Basically, if you got moisture in anything, uh, this this tool will help you detect, detect it. That. Yep. Okay. Then we got a carbon monoxide meter. So how this works is. Uh, when you go to the furnace room, uh, I can take you there. We can I can show you how we use this one. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, so this is a furnace room over here. So a lot of time uh, there's going to be monoxide that is uh, emitted from here, okay. right, or from these pipes. So basically we use this meter here mm -hmm. to check that it's not at a dangerous level. So basically what you would do is you would hold it close to there and it would give you a reading. It's, it's, it just takes time because it's got to calibrate, turn it on. Okay. So it's given us like 70 seconds, but once it's done, I can show you sure. how it does it. 
but the basic idea is you, you, you hold this uh, near this device, mm -hmm. uh, this device near this pipe, and basically it'll tell you how many parts per million. So anything over 100 parts per million, uh, you'd want to see why that is happening right. because that could be harmful, right? So I thought, you know, carbon monoxide was more so danger in like the, our garages yeah. from the car, but yeah. I never knew about the furnace. Yeah, it, it, it comes from the furnace as well yeah. because, um, uh, again, that's why you have the vents outside your home because... And you don't want it, any fumes want coming it, inside. You yeah, don't want that coming towards you. Yeah, makes sense. Right? Now so, this is like a whole different set of uh, furnaces. You know, nowadays in it, new homes, yeah, it looks quite different. The equipment, you know, yeah, it's, uh, definitely. Well, this is an older home. You said 1975. 19, built, right? This is a 1975 yeah. home, right? So um, uh, it's almost what 40 something years yeah. old. Uh, math is the greatest, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of cool just to see. Like, look at that. Electrical panel, yeah. yeah, so different from what it's like today. Oh yeah, definitely. The laundry's in the mechanical room. Okay, so we got it turned on. Oh, perfect. So, Let's uh, see it. And then it tells you if, you if you put it near there. See, it's reading at zero. It's Let reading at it. zero. You can see it's reading at zero, right? So that's what you want. You don't want anything. This is reading at zero. If you just want to hold it at once, but yeah. for one second, let's yeah. just show it to these guys. Yeah, it's reading at zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, right. makes sense. All right, so we can check over here. Still reading at zero. So you pretty much check all the joints. Yeah, basically. If it's uh, you exactly. know leaking any gas, basically, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So this one here is the thermal camera. So how this works is basically it picks up, um, it gives you a graph and a mm -hmm. range of uh, temperatures and also like uh, heat. Okay. So it uses infrared technology. So I could just demonstrate to you sure. how it works. Okay, so. This wall. So this is an exterior wall yes. facing so, the outside. So you see those blue lines? You see those blue lines? Yeah. Are you see that? Yep. That's the framing of the of the wall. Oh, okay. Those okay. are the studs. Yeah. Yeah. So do you remember you were asking before if uh, if, if if it's boarded up, if we could check it out and we right. could see it. Yeah. This is how we check it out. Also, if I put my hand here. Now you can. It picks up my heat oh, yeah. signature. You see that? Look at that handprint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, see, it picks it up. Yeah. Right? So this basically can help us detect moisture uh, in, in the home. So if we see like a like a big patch of... Oh, yeah, uh, like, a, like, a, like an orange, right? Yeah, of, of blue or something, okay. right? Or something like that's kind of abnormal. We, we, we go with the moisture meter and we check it out. Oh, is there moisture there? So at first you use this because this is a tool and a guide, right? So it gives you an idea and then you verify with the moisture meter. So that's where all the tools come together when you're using it. So basically this helps you check out if there's uh, any place with moisture or if it's uh, leaking, I mean, if it's losing heat from, yeah, exactly. and then you use your other tools to verify exactly. and take a, a closer look at Exactly, exactly. That is perfect. So this is a really good tool that- I think this is probably my, one of my favorite tools. Yeah, there you go. And then we got a, a, a voltage tester here. Mm -hmm. So this one is a AFCI tester and a GFCI, so it's a two-in-one. So it's basically to test if the plugs are working? Yeah, or? basically, uh, so, uh, Basically, how it works is you can uh, you can just plug this tool in, and it'll tell you like it'll give you a reading. Is it uh, correct? Uh, is it what condition it is? And then if it's a GFCI, you press this button. So basically, the the ones that are near the bathroom or any near any water source to be GFCI protected right. nowadays. Older homes might not have that. And then just to see if they work and they trip. And then AFCIs you'll find more in your bedrooms and stuff like that. Again, you press this button and you can test if the, it'll, it'll send a, like a little current through there. So it's basically AFCIs just checking uh, if there's an arc fault in that circuit, okay. will it trip? Okay. Again, it's for safety. Um, so basically, so we do that in the bedrooms. Okay, then we got a voltage tester. This is a non-contact voltage tester. And how this one basically works is uh, you can test any live wire or conductor just to make sure if there's any voltage coming through. Right. So okay. sometimes there's a, there's a wire sticking out somewhere and you want to... Before you touch it, exactly. you know, you want to make sure it's like exactly. it's, it's terminated or it's turned off. Exactly. Yeah. So this is for that. 
you know, I'm always really scared of anything yeah. electrical. Yeah. Um, I know in one of my previous videos, they wanted me to turn the main panel on for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. And I was quite nervous turning yeah. it on. I wish I had one of those tools too. Yeah, definitely. Just to double check, you know, exactly. everything was and good. Then we got this water uh, tester. So this basically uh, tests if there's any like lead or anything in your water. So we in Alberta, we have some lead content right in our water you, you will have a little bit yes because uh, now the city is uh changing out some of the lead pipes so they're doing that but like some of the older areas where there's lead pipes and stuff like that you're gonna have some lead in the water so and does it test it right away like if you took like some yeah, water it would yeah, yeah it would test it right away you'd have to put a glass of water and, and just basically put you'd have to have the, the water go up to where those pins are right and then it would give you a reading, reading on here okay. and then you just look at the back here and it tells you um, in the parts per million if it's safe or if it's hard water and then they will tell you if, if it's acceptable in terms of uh, the minerals or whatever. So there's that. Then we have the drone. Okay, so That's what I think everyone's, everyone's going to be waiting yeah, for, <laughs> the <yeah>. drone. <laughs> so uh, how the drone works yeah. is basically uh, we got this... Um, if you want, I can test it out for you outside. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so first, let's set it up. So here we have it. Yeah. Let's set it up. Okay. So I'll get out of your way. Ready for takeoff? <laughs> it's just, it's just beeping because it wants me to calibrate it. Oh, okay. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so you just kind of fly it up, and you can check out the roof, right? So you check out the roof like this, and we can fly it even further. Okay. So, so this is mainly for the roof. Yeah, basically. Uh, because we like it's easier to inspect the roof from yeah, cause, yeah. you don't want to get up on a 20 or 30 so, so then, it, then it has a camera where uh, you can move its head up and down so so you can check out the roof like right now there's just snow up there right all right right so it's just showing white but like if I bring it over to us like you can see us right here see okay. that right <laughs> so you can bring it down Right? Yeah. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah, and then you can bring it up. Right? You're pretty good at this. You oh, must yeah. have played some video games oh. back in the day, huh? Well, just, just from using this at the inspections, basically. Okay. Right? So I've tried using this dro like, like a drone before, but yeah. it's, it wasn't that easy. Do you find stuff on the roof? Oh, yeah, definitely. What you'll kind find, of stuff do you you'll, come you'll across? You'll find, like, missing shingles. You'll find, like, I, there was this one house. They had, like, a hole in there. It was just, like, it wasn't patched up or wow. anything. Yeah. Like birds are probably getting in there and stuff like that. I'll be worried about that. Yeah, having a hole yeah. in the roof. Yeah. Exactly, just, just a hole up in the roof, right? Wow. It was a brand new home too. Exactly. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Wow. So yeah, just had a hole up in there. That's shocking. Like, uh, plumbing vents not put in properly. Uh, chimneys not flashed properly. So you find a whole bunch of stuff yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, just by using this thing. I think if I had you as a home inspector, if you brought a drone, I'd be pretty impressed. Oh, yeah, most people are impressed with, with, with the drones, right? That is cool. So, recording you now. Oh, hey! Yes. <laughs> recording you up there. Oh, right. look at that. Right. That's pretty clear. Is yeah. this like 4K? Yeah, it's a 4K, it's a 4K uh, drone. That is awesome. Thanks for showing this to yeah, us. No worries. Let's head inside. It's getting yeah. cold. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, that drone was awesome. Yeah. What else you got? Oh yeah, we got, we got a level. So okay. this helps in uh, just checking, uh, making sure all your windows, doors are level. Uh, your pumping pipes have proper slope, so nothing's backing up. We got a light to get up into the to the attic. We we'll also have a ladder. I didn't bring it out, but to get into the attic, the attic, we have, yeah. We have a ladder extends up to twenty two feet, so get to those hard to reach nice. places as well. Um, We've got a stud finder. Some mm -hmm. some clients sometimes ask, "Hey, where's the stud here? Or if I, is there is this wall actually load bearing?" Yeah, you know, so we can always check with, uh, with this tool. And then basically the rest of the stuff is like drills and stuff like that, and hand tools and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah. So this is basically the tools of the trade, right? So as you can see, we we use a lot of different tools um, to inspect. And you can see that uh, uh, there's a ton of value there. We invested a lot of money into that. And to, to give you the, the best possible inspection uh, that, that, that Absolutely. you can get today right? <laughs> at a really good price. Yeah. Wow, what an awesome tour. Thanks so much, Sandip. You know, you walked us through, you answered such, uh, you, you answered all those questions in you know, quite detail. You took us through all the equipment. I think my favorite 
I think change from the heat sensor yeah. to the drone for sure. <laughs> the drone is a cool toy. It is so yeah, cool. Right? It's like you're your actual pilot and you get to you know navigate exactly. and stuff like that. All the tools are unique in their yeah. own way, right? They all help in, in in inspecting your home and they all help in providing value. And it's all about just a great customer experience because you're gonna what you're gonna remember you're not gonna remember the tools you're not no. gonna remember me you're gonna remember the experience and if the experience is great then you'll be more likely to tell other people hey you know what those, are, those are great tools those are great times i mean uh he told me so much yeah. things that i didn't even know and that's the whole point of it i personally have no experience with home inspectors you walked me through all of this yes i am thoroughly impressed i think if i am buying a home I think I would definitely get a third party home inspector to come do an inspection mm -hmm. and go in depth like how you just showed me today. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. So if you're in the Edmonton area and you're looking to buy a new home, make sure to reach out to Sandeep. Yeah. Share your information, Sandeep. Uh, yeah, uh, so you can contact us at 587-938-0909. Uh, you can call us if you have just questions, if you want to do a booking or or whatever, uh, more than happy to help. You can email us, perfecthomeinspections, with an S, uh, at gmail.com. Also, you can follow us on uh, social media, uh, Facebook for Perfect Home Inspections, and also on Instagram, at Perfect Home Inspections. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with some feedback if you saw a thing or two that I can improve on, or if I missed something that you want me to cover next time. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more regular content. This is just the beginning. Thank you.